morning guys it is another cold morning we had a change of plans our uh, fishing game aphis guy isn't going to be here till one now so i am out here checking and see if we have any more deads this morning i'm really really hoping not but it is better to check than to not check that is firsty first thing and then I need to go feed those lambs and uh, get some feeding done at the barn and all the things I've put off for the last half hour this morning sitting back here looking for things it's not really how I wanted to start my week but it is what it is dead sheep out here this morning and um, hopefully we won't find any this afternoon but I need to get to the barn and take care of stuff down there so I will probably come back out and check around noon and then I've got to go get those sheep from the cooler and get back here by one o'clock nothing nothing Guys are all way too content. Absolutely nothing. Oh. Now we're about down to 10 days on these girls. So I think the plan with these girls Anybody that doesn't lamb, um, for whatever reason, um, they could have sloughed them, they could have reabsorbed them, I don't know. But anyway, I still got 10 days. I'm not panicking yet. But anybody that doesn't lamb in this group, I'm immediately gonna put into the December group, except for the old ones. I have some 2014, 15, and 16 ewes in here that if they did not take, or if for whatever reason they don't lamb, uh, I, I will probably end up selling them. Um, they're just, they're getting old enough that it's time for them to find another use in life. All right, I just pulled in to grab those lambs from the cooler. I keep wanting to call it a freezer. It's not a freezer, it's a cooler. And there's my husband. So let's get them out and get home and meet the USDA guy. gloves on Rocky you can feel right there that whole esophagus right that windpipe is crushed yeah. <clears throat> the trauma you know before they were there were three yeah pretty pretty distinct it was pretty obvious yeah and so I, I mean yeah, so on that one I would probably say cause of death was that bite right underneath the jawline. Okay, and that makes sense because, like I said before, they were, you know, and they could all be that. But well, it's good to check. We need to no, 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 that's okay. Fish and game has just left. They did necropsy all four of the sheep, and I don't know whether to be happy or not 
It is not the Eagles. So I am happy about that. However, all of them were killed by coyotes. Um, I thought maybe, well, did a neighbor dog get in? And he says, no, they are, they were directly at their windpipe. Their windpipe is crushed. Um, the marks I found on them were bites from the teeth. So part of me is happy that it is not the eagles. For one, I can shoot the coyotes and not go to jail over it. Uh, and two, it means that it is a fixable problem without it being a, well, basically a mess because trying to relocate and deal with the eagles. I mean, I'd still like them out of here, but right now they are going to come and do what they can about the coyotes. And the reason he knows it is not a domestic dog, like if one of our neighbor's dogs had gotten into our sheep, is he said domestic dogs will go for their back legs, just like Dudley had done. So, it is good that it is not like one of the neighbor dogs. Um, it is something we can deal with and take care of. And I know somebody is going to ask, don't you have livestock guardian dogs? Well, yes, yes I do. But in the last week, so these, these were killed Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Where are my dogs? At the barn with my sheep that are lambing like they are always are every time we lamb. They forget that there are other animals out here. They stick with what's lambing, which is kind of what they're supposed to do. So uh, I don't have anything out here watching my sheep 24 seven, like I normally do. They are watching the sheep at the barn 24 seven. But it is good, it is good. We figured out what the problem was. Um, they were really, really good about things. Um, in fact, they are probably going to come out and do a little night hunting on their own to help us out. So that is, that is a relief off my mind. I was panicking pretty badly because I did not want to go through the hassle that it was going to take for the whole Eagle situation. So now we just need to deal with the coyotes and uh, get them not to be here anymore. No! So, what are you girls up to? You know, when they're all in one big group, it doesn't look like there's that many sheep. And then when you get them spread out, I have a lot of sheep. <laughs> so there's the whole band over here. And then there's all these guys that are here. And then you get all these guys over here. And then this group over here. You are one lucky little devil. Still nothing, huh? It'll be my luck. They'll all have them on Thanksgiving. Oh, girls, girls, girls.
baby. You're looking better. Hi. Okay, I'll get your bottle in a minute. Let me feed your mom. See, I don't like the fact that she's not even cleaning up her breakfast. She makes me think there's another issue there. And you guys are doing good. And you're... Where's my baby? Oh. My little girl's died. She was doing so good this morning. I don't even think I got video this morning. Yeah, she was up nursing and now she's... Now she's not alive. She's doing so good. What the heck? You guys are doing good. Yeah, you're both doing good. Yeah, good mama. One nervous mama. You ever had that one mom in the neighborhood growing up that didn't like you playing? Anybody, her kid playing with anybody else? That's her. <laughs> okay, mom, play. Boys, come on, come eat. Don't be dumb. You're going to be dumb. You know, I had a ram die doing this, but I am not dumb enough to get between them. They're just going to have to figure it out. You guys done? Idiots. Ooh. Oh no, Sturgeon, don't get involved. Let him figure it out. You all, oh, you are already higher tiered than they are. Idiots. Rams are idiots, but I love them.